it, all the average people, they're going to tell you to go have your beer and have your glass of wine and that it's okay. They're going to tell you that if that doctor prescribes that pill to you, that it's okay. They're going to tell you that if you smoke that Marlboro Light, it's okay because they're average. If you want to change your life, you got to get up out of that average mindset of that place where you came from. You know, that place with no hope and all that dope. Yo, what's up guys? Joel Hoffman here, coming to you straight from the underground. Underground motivation lifting people from rock bottom. Guys, if you are from a town or a place where there is a lot of dope and not a lot of hope, honk your horn right now, give me a little toot toot, scream out the window, say what's up, welcome to the family, y'all. So what it is, is that there is a lot of places where there's not a lot of hope, man. Like we look around, I know personally I come from a place, a very um, a, a, a medium class, an average class, uh, a neighborhood, and there was either average people or below average people. There wasn't a lot of above average people around. There wasn't a lot of people that didn't want to do anything more than go to work and pay their bills. And most of the time in between that time, between going to work and paying their bills, they wanted to get fucked up somewhere along the way. So what happens is, is because we grow up in these environments, and these are the only environments that we've ever known then our mind adapts the same philosophies. So we find ourselves adapt, uh, saying the same thing that, that the old man next door used to say. Uh, you know, like things like, uh, all the, the worst thing that could happen will happen, or uh, all, I, all I gotta do is get a little bit of overtime so I can pay these bills. Like, they never wanted anything more than what they had. And for some people, that's okay. Like, if you came from rock bottom, and you have something now and you at least have a place to live and, and, and all that's that's fine like for some of us the the level of of, of uh, achievement the level of success is just making it to that but there's some other people there's some of us that uh, the level of success is the bar should be a lot higher and because we've only known what's down here we'll never shoot for anything more like because we don't believe it like that's where we're from that's what we are and we believe that's what we're supposed to be so I want to challenge you to start challenging the way that you think. Start challenging your core beliefs. Start challenging what you what might be possible. Like you really don't know what's possible. You don't know what you're capable of. There's so many things out there that you haven't tried yet because we're we're taught this to be stuck inside of this box and this is who you are and this is what you can and can't do. So I challenge you to to try new things, man. Like keep an open mind. Uh, you know, go go pick up an instrument. Try try to learn a new instrument. Um, listen to new kinds of music. There's all kinds of things that I had to realize that I was I was trained to be one kind of way. Like I remember I would see people with like the corn, uh, the corn, the, the band on their backpacks, and I thought they were like devil worshippers. Um, I would see people that listen to country music or just different types of, of music or whatnot, and I was like, oh wait, those people ain't like me. And I was I believed that I was like in this one kind of genre that I like that the you know the the my my big brother and everybody else that I felt like I fit in and everybody else I I, I kicked them to the side so it wasn't until I, I got older and I started opening up my mind to new music and new ways of thinking like one of my best friends now is a uh, a, heavy, a heavy metal artist and uh plays the guitar has his own heavy metal band and is in all to that kind of um really heavy uh, metal stuff man and, and I keep an open mind to that and I learn new things uh, there was things like um, reggae with uh, Bob Marley and learning that different types of music that, that opened up my mind and then as I got older I started listening to country again um, really opened up my mind so there's a lot of there's a lot of things in our life that we're taught to be a certain way and I want to challenge you guys to just think outside of the box because you we really don't know like I didn't know who I really was until I started challenging those things and I became uh, my own person so I challenge you to become your own person because you know <laughs> whenever you're from little towns with uh, a lot of a lot of dope and not a lot of hope then it's hard to, to think outside that box so I, I just I think I thank the Lord that I had a chance or the opportunity to make it out of that little town of Sigaville, Texas because you know, when I first got out of juvenile, I remember how how ignorant I was. Like, I didn't even know how to change a tire. I remember, uh, you know, my dad had took me to uh, take my alternator and get a new alternator and tell me I had to have a core charge. And I was like, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard, Dad. But she let me go all through the process and be told, yeah, you need to have a core charge. 
But my point being is that there were so many things I was so ignorant about, about, and there was so, um, I did it until I got outside and I moved to North Dallas and, and I rolled that dice and I, you know, I slept on buddy's couches and did whatever I had to do, um, to make things happen. But I really started learning and I started traveling around. I started meeting all these different people of different minds and people that had a lot of money and people that had success in life. And I learned that not everybody that has a lot of money was given it. Some people came from the bottom just like me. So it started changing my way of thinking. Then I met people that didn't get pissed off at things like eh, people where I'm from did. They just had a whole different way of thinking. And at first, you know, back in the old me, I would kind of shun those people off and be like, fuck those people, you know, like they're not like me, those yuppies, whatever you want to call them. But then, you know, as I as my mind started to grow and I started having an open mind, I was like, wait, these people are human beings and they have something that I could learn from, too. They're very emotionally intelligent. They had their shit together. They know about financing and banking and credit and all kinds of things that I was never taught about. They know how to build businesses and how to invest their money, like all kinds of different stuff. So, like, what I'm telling you is, is to keep an open mind to the way that you think, keep an open mind to make it out of that little place that you're from. Like if you're from a small town and you've never left there, I challenge you to leave there. Like sometimes guys, you just gotta roll the dice. You gotta get the hell away from wherever you're from and go see the world and find out who it is that you truly are. Sometimes you gotta turn on a different radio station and say, I'm gonna give this a shot and maybe you'll like it because you don't know what you like. Like I tell my, my kids all the time, they're like, I don't like this. I'm like, you've never tried it. How do you know? If you've never tried it, well, I can tell by looking at it. And what it is, is one of the, the older kids will set the example and say, I don't like it. And as soon as he says it, the, my younger kid says, nope, I don't like it. And I'm like, look at you. You're just being a follower. You're being told what to do without even trying something. And the same thing happens in our life, guys. So I challenge you, just do that. Because if you don't, if you don't challenge the way that you think in, in the box that you were taught in to think in, then you'll never make it out of that small town. You'll never have any hope. And you always look for the dope. You know, if, if you want to get away from the dope, you got to get away from those people. You got to get away from that thinking because those people will sell you their weaknesses. They'll sell you a reason why it's okay, guys. Don't let these people from where you're from or that are on drugs or that, that are weak, that are lazy, that are fucking broke. Don't let them sell you their weaknesses. I'm about to be 35 years old. I've been fucking up since I was 12. I've been in drug and uh, counseling and rehabilitation centers since I was 13 years old, guys. In and out, in and out. I barely made it through probation. I, I mean, I've been a lot of places. Can you imagine being locked up at 15, going to uh, alternative school at 13 and 12, and, and seeing all these different people getting kicked out of that alternative school and going to the worst alternative school in all of Dallas, Texas, where you get kicked out of alternative school, you go to that one, and then going to juvenile, and then all these placements. And then after that, I got into sales. And guess what I did? Outside cold sales, knocking doors, whatever I was doing, it was always cold sales. So all I've done is constantly meet people, constantly new people in my life. And guess what I do? I watch, I learn, I try to help, but I also learn from people's mistakes, but I also learn from people's greatness. One thing that I learned, guys, is that these people will sell you their weaknesses with their quickness. And you got to have a strong fucking mind to say, nah, bro, that's a good story for you. That's a good story, excuse for you. But I'm not buying that. I'm not buying it. I'm over here. I'm thinking for myself. You have to start learning and thinking for yourself. Because if you run with the cool crowd, the cool crowd is going to talk you into drinking again. The cool cr crowd is going to talk, talk you into doing drugs or popping pills, smoking cigarettes, whatever it is. Because those people are steadily stuck on being average. They're stuck on being average. Whenever I coach people to be sober, I tell them, if you want to be average, I can't help you. Because every average person, all they care about is living in their little box so they can pay for making their, getting by in their little box. They can pay for their car, their little box that they drive in, and they can go to work with their little box that they work in. And then when they come home, they want to get wasted. They go to their doctor and take as many pills and they never get outside their comfort zone because that's what average is. And as long as they can pay their bills and get by and be average, then they're okay with that. 
And I can't help anybody with that mentality because that's what they're going to get. They're going to be average and they're always going to find a way to barely get by. They're always going to find a way to use drugs or drink. So whenever you really want to change, you have to think with an above average mentality. You have to change that whole shit. You got to get off the level with the pigeons and start soaring with the eagles because that's the only way that you're going to be able to overcome that addiction. That's the only way that you're going to be able to overcome your depression, your anxiety, your anger, and your unhealthy laziness that you've been dealing with is by focusing. I don't want to be like these guys. I don't want to be average anymore. I want to be above average. Okay, because above average is going to get you, is going to take you to the level that you need. That's going to help you put in the work because it takes work, guys. You can't just snap your fingers. It takes work to change this wiring up here and change your behaviors. And you have to be ready to put in that work and change or else you're going to stay the same. If you're thinking down here, that's the results that you're going to get. If you're thinking right up here, that's the results that you're going to get. Everybody in America, they don't care. They, all the average people, they're going to tell you to go have your beer and have your glass of wine and that it's okay. They're going to tell you that if that doctor prescribes that pill to you, that it's okay. They're going to tell you that if you smoke that Marlboro Light, it's okay because they're average. If you want to change your life, you got to get up out of that average mindset of that place where you came from. You know, that place with no hope and all that dope. You got to change that shit and you got to step above it, guys. I'm sorry, but I stepped above the Sigaville, Texas mentality. It's almost like I don't even want to tell people I'm from there. I go back there all the time and I just want to I want to grab people and put them in the seat and say, let's break some shit down. I'm thinking about doing it and have an interview with the guy, the people that came from the same place I came from. The only difference is, is that I rolled the fucking dice. I rolled the dice and I bet on myself and I did whatever it takes. I didn't stay at home and motherfucking mommy and say, oh, help me, beat me. There's no way. Oh, I can't get a job. I don't have a driver's license. There's no public transportation here. What am I supposed to do? I didn't say none of that shit. I said, peace out, mom. Holla at you. I got to go. I, I, where are you going? I don't know, but I can't stay here anymore. Nothing ever is going to happen for me here. And I got the fuck up out of there and I went and did whatever I wanted to do and I made it happen. I've seen all of America. I've been all over. I've had some good times. I've had my ups and downs, but I didn't stay at home with fucking mama because when you stay at home with mama and you stay in the same place, that's all you're ever going to fucking get. You're never going to level up by staying in the same place in your fucking comfort zone. So if you've never got outside of your motherfucking comfort zone, then get out side of it right now i'm talking to you get outside your comfort zone spread your motherfucking wings and fly start saving your money start being responsible paying for your own bills paying for your own phone bill having your own shit having your own bed your own couch your own tv everything that's yours in your own place that can't nobody fucking take it away from you nobody i know some of you guys I've never had that, and I want you to start working for it because I know there was some shit I never had. I remember back in my day, just to have a car. Most of the people where I'm from, just to have a car, you're doing good. You're doing good just because you're able to get around. Because there's so many times I was calling asking for rides, and I don't forget where I came from. So when my homies need it now, I do the same thing for them. But whenever you want to get up out of that place where there's no hope and a bunch of dope, you gotta go gotta go if you want to change your life you gotta go you gotta spread your wings and take chances and start developing your talents and skills don't be bitching about how much money you make if you ain't got no motherfucking skills if you haven't dug in and, and, and developed any talents if you haven't done any of that and worked on your craft and you don't deserve any money so whenever you get off working at, at uh, McDonald's or Church's Chicken or wherever you're working, you better get off fucking work and get on that YouTube thing and start learning some fucking skills. You better get on the computer and start learning some skills because there's so many people, there's so many jobs out there, it's crazy. You better get in and in, 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 in practice some damn trade or start learning some trade on YouTube, something. There's so much skills we have in our hands. This, this little phone right here, we have the ability to learn what people, for free, what people used to pay so much money for, that people used to have schools for, and we can learn it for free. We have all these resources, yet we all we're doing is we're throwing those damn skills away and then bitching about shit and wondering why we can't we can't come up in life whenever we're not you're not spending any time trying to get any damn skills what are you doing you're sitting there watching netflix playing on uh facebook and instagram watching pornhub and then you're fucking wondering why you don't have any damn money put that shit down 
pick up something and gain some skills if you want to get out of that place with no hope and a bunch of dope, okay? Stop bitching about not having no money if you ain't doing nothing to gain skills and better yourself. So I'm going to cut this video short for you guys. This is just some real shit that I want to spit for you guys. If you want to get out of that place, man, then you got to work for it. You don't belong there. Just because you was born there don't mean that you belong there. Don't mean just because you was born average don't mean or below average don't mean that's where you got to stay. Just because you was born of alcoholics and drug addicts don't mean, mean that you have to be one too. You can be different. Challenge the way that you think. Challenge where you came from and get up out of that place with no hope and a bunch of dope.